Hey everyone, welcome back. We are gonna be diving into a really cool thing that just got released by ChatGPT, which allows us to start generating images with the new model of DALE 3. So let's go ahead and check out that model real quick. This is exciting stuff uh, for a couple of reasons. One cost and one because, I mean, look at the difference right off the bat. So this is DALE 2, this is DALE 3. Already see a huge increase in cost, or sorry, an increase in uh, quality. But on top of that, I think the one thing that I've always kind of thought of when I thought of the DALI 3 engine is, or sorry, the DALI 2 engine was that the resolution wasn't always the, the greatest, right? Mid journey always seemed to be better in that kind of regard. But, you know, coming into DALI 3 here, this is some pretty cool stuff. I mean, this right here just looks awesome. Imagine seeing this in like 2016, people would like lose their heads, but now no one really cares because, you know, AI can generate anything. But as you see here, I'm really excited. Uh, DALI 3 seems like a step in the right direction. And as you already know and can assume, it's only going to get better and better and better. And here is the coolest part. We now have it in ChatGPT, and this is huge. So let's go ahead and dive in. Let's see all the capabilities of what we can do with DALI 3 in ChatGPT. And one thing I want to point out before we dive in any further here is um, I'm actually shocked they're giving it to you in, in ChatGPT because there is no cost associated with me generating images anymore. It's only going to be that $20 a month. That's all I pay. So I could generate a thousand images using the DALI 3 image uh, model and I wouldn't pay a single dime. It's a flat fee of 20 bucks a month. I mean, this is huge. If you're paying for a mid journey subscription right now, which costs between $8 all the way to $36 a month, this could be the next leg here. They, they might try to undercut mid journey by essentially providing the same value, but at a flat fee of 20 bucks. This is crazy. Let's go ahead and jump in. All right, so in order to have it enabled, you gotta have a ChatGPT Plus account. It's gonna be 20 bucks a month. I mean, the value you get for 20 bucks a month is absolutely insane. So it's definitely worth it, especially for long-term understanding how to leverage this model is insane. But from here, make sure you have it selected here. And let's go ahead and try a simple prompt here just to see its capabilities. I'm aware that you can do different resolutions. We're gonna start with this prompt here. We're gonna say, a breathtaking aerial view of a coral reef under clear blue waters, schools of colorful fish swim around in vibrant corals while the sun rays pierce the surface, almost like finding Nemo, but maybe not the sad part in the beginning. And let's go ahead and see how it generates this image. One thing I wanna point out is that it does take a little bit of time, but it makes sense. That's kinda of how long it would take if you used a mid journey or these other AI image models. It takes a little bit of time, but you'll see it's loading here. And here we go. So we got our results. We got three different options here. And if you're familiar with this channel, you can go to a certain website that allows us to up the resolution even further here. So I'll show that at the end of this tutorial video. And if I don't, and I forget, make sure to let me know in the comments, but I'll show you up the resolution at the end here. But this is great. And you know what I just realized by just sending that one prompt that you can't do with any other AI image model is you can actually talk to ChatGPT to proctor the prompt itself to make it look a little bit different. So let's say I like this, but can we add a shark? This is something we can't really do in mid journey because mid journey would require you personally to restructure this underlying prompt here in order to find your output that you like. But in this, you can just talk to ChatGPT and let's see if it comes off a successful output based off that simple description. Absolutely crazy. So as you see here, we got the similar type of viewpoints, but now we added that shark that we were looking for um, for this image. I mean, this is, we, the future is going to be very strange. Um, but as you see here, we have the ability now to proctor further with an underlying prompt using ChatGPT rather than our own discretion, having AI take the step for us. Once again, in this new age, I'm going to go ahead and try a different type of prompt here. As you'll notice is we have the classic 1024 by 1024 provided by Dali, but we can also do a different resolution, which is 1792 by 1024. So a wide shot. This one specifically is going to be uh, looking at a city skyline and then giving some context on, you know, orange pink hues, cars moving on a bridge and stuff of this nature. As you see here, we got different uh, versions of what we're looking for here. And one thing I want to point out too, which is pretty cool here, is that it seems to try to maintain to a point the consistency of how it looks. So it isn't completely four completely random um, versions of that prompt. Rather, it seems to be pretty consistent here. Now, I'm curious if we can do stuff that's classic to AI and just say, um, have a large Shrek on the bridge. I think that's how you spell Shrek. Uh, let's see if they could do something like this. I don't even know if there's copyright issues with this. I assume they could do something like this, but let's see what it does. Okay, so that's kind of what I assumed is that there's probably some copyright with that. So let's try something else like uh, have a large 
um, donkey on the bridge and kind of see how it would interpret that in this context. And now we have an amazing picture of, it almost looks like the Trojan horse, but it's split in half. But I think that's pretty cool. I mean, this is always something great you can do with AI. Um, like this one's amazing, but that is really cool here. Um, let's go ahead and try some different title style images here. I think the only resolutions that we can do right now is 1024 by 1024 and then this wide shot. So let's try a different style now. All right. So we actually can do a different type of shot here. So instead of horizontal in this resolution, we can do vertical. That's always cool. So we got a fashion showcase here and then essentially, you know, uh, very specifics on a diverse group of three models showing avant-garde fashion on a runway. Let's go in and see the outputs here. And just for reference, all these prompts I'm using, um, they don't come from my head. They're just from ChatGPT itself as well. It's always great. You can always find and fine tune and create prompts using the model itself, which is always a nice thing to know. Also, you can go to marketplaces like PromptBase. Okay, so this is really cool. Uh, this is a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. So sometimes it seems like uh, even though you give it in a tall resolution, it will do still in the horizontal. So you can kind of churn that uh, as you see here but some of them actually were able to output in the correct resolution. As I said before, it seems like they're very consistent on the outputs, just slight variations. But I mean, this is just really, really amazing stuff. And, and I think the thing that really takes it to the extra mile here is the fact that this is all free in the context that you only have to pay 20 bucks a month and you get access to everything else in ChatGPT's backend. I mean, this is really, really cool stuff here. Let's go ahead and finish off this tutorial with a historical battle scene. So all you history buffs are gonna like this one. Let's make it a little bit funny. So we're talking about a Roman era showcasing a battle between legions. Let's go ahead and say, and in the background, there is a barista making coffee. <laughs> uh, let's see what it does. Let's see how it interprets it. I think this is really cool here. I specified the resolution with wide. So if you wanna prompt it correctly, you can do 1024, whatever resolution you want. Let's see what it comes up with. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can also maybe proctor a little bit further here and see what this battle scene will look like. Okay, so we got some cool images here. Um, okay, so we got it right there. Uh, let's see if we can come down here. All right. Oh man, this is why this is why AI is so cool. Okay, obviously, really cool scene. Regardless, I mean, super cool scene. Um, just random coffee here. Uh, Man, this is so cool. Okay. And then I think this one takes the cake right here. This this is it right here. So, you know, you got the elephants here, the two different legions, and then we just got a, a coffee stand. <laughs> also, what I notice here is um, it gives the prompt it used. So it almost seems like it's actually taking my suggestion and then reformatting it for the specific context of what it believes is correct. So, uh, okay, yeah, see, so that specific image is associated with this prompt. So I'm assuming if I went ahead and hit enter again here, it's gonna be very consistent on the output of this image because now I'm realizing is that ChatGPT will take your initial prompt and then reformat it in a way that could possibly lead to better outcomes it assumes or different outcomes. Let's go ahead and see that. Let's test that theory and see what the next one would look like using that exact prompt. Okay, so similar with the coffee in the, the bottom right here. Um, it's like the Parthion right there, right? Um, coming over here, <laughs> what is this? Okay, that's cool. Uh, all right, we got the coffee again. I mean, this is just, this just shows you, this is crazy, oh my gosh. This is so cool. Because like, if you think about it logistically, if you hire, like, no one's gonna go out of their way before this kind of image generation existed to hire, for, to one, hire a freelancer or just go out of the way to draw something like this. Like, I'm not gonna go to Upwork and pay someone $100 to make this, because it's so niche, it's so random. But now you can do it within a couple seconds. So that's super cool here. I think this is taking a step in the right direction for the ChatGBT uh, Chat, Chat uh, website. Um, I don't know if long-term they're going to keep it as a free, where it's essentially you only pay 20 bucks a month and you still get access to Dolly. What I assume what they're gonna do is they're gonna do a multi-tier system where essentially to access chat GBT and GBT4 and the plugins is 20 bucks to then access Dolly on top of it. I assume 30 bucks. They're gonna figure out some way to handle this. But overall, this is crazy. It really shows you long-term where chat GBT is going in the sense that this isn't going to be a fad 10 years from now. Who knows what chat to openai.com is really gonna be. 
Um, the fact that we can do this kind of stuff now, I mean, this has only been, a, we're only a year in and we can already do crazy stuff like this. So if you like today's video, make sure to leave a like. It's free and it helps us here at Corbin AI. If you want to see more videos like this where we're discovering the capabilities of ChatGPT, I'm going to leave a playlist at the end here where essentially we're diving into all ChatGPT plugins and we're seeing how to leverage every single one. Find a plugin that you actually care about and go ahead and watch that video. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Corbin AI, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.